Good morning, folks. It's all space weather today because we have two potential impacts on their way to Earth. In addition to what we showed yesterday, a very large eruption occurred overnight, and that one has a chance to impact our planet as well. So let's begin with the first eruption. We saw this yesterday, the filament release. It produced a fairly wide-angle CME, and we showed the NASA Enlil spiral in the afternoon show and how there was likely an impact coming on Saturday, September 2nd. NOAA's Enlil spiral shows the same thing, a Saturday impact. But then, overnight, we got another one. It will be on the right side in one of the departing active regions, a long-duration M-class solar flare released an even wider CME. Despite the active region being towards the limb, the breadth of this ejecta is massive, clearly a partial halo event. SOHO seems to indicate it will also impact Earth, and NASA's Enlil spiral was already updated, showing the edge of it does have an impact potential on Sunday, about a day after the first one. That means we have two CMEs probably coming our way and set to impact over the weekend. If they both impact, we have a good chance for mid-level to high-level geomagnetic storm conditions. Now, it's the waiting game. While we wait, a proton storm is underway due to that second eruption, which dinged the interplanetary magnetic fields connecting Earth to Sun and surged those charged particles our way. Luckily, it is just a minor proton storm at this time. The bigger show is set to unfold starting tomorrow. As we mentioned last night, subscribers to our Observer Review e-magazine will be getting a special letter of perspective from me later today. The normal mid-month full update will still be coming in about two weeks, but I wanted to give a big picture overview of the condition of civilization. Link to sign up is found below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.